Hey guys, welcome back. Oh, no, I don't want you. Go away. <laughs> welcome back. That's a good way to start a video. Welcome back to the uh, Castle Defenders uh, Let's Build a Map series. Woo! Yay! So, last episode, we got the spawn platform done and all this stuff here. And so, this episode, we're actually going to get to doing the map. Uh, I probably should measure this stuff out first, but eh, who needs that? Right? Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Who needs to measure? Actually, I'm gonna go measure that. I'll be right back. Okay, so we got some measurements down. This is 64 blocks out from there. Of course, it could always be moved, but... Yeah. <laughs> so, I ex I already explained in the last episode how the bridge was gonna be made. It was gonna be made with pish pish piston pushers. <laughs> So this is 8 blocks out, let's go 9, 10, 11, 12, that could always shrink, but you never know. 9, 10, 11, 12. And then there's this block in the middle that's just going to be there the entire time to make everything all symmetrical and stuff. With that, over there. Mm, actually, I'm looking at this, I think that we can make this a bit longer because it's kind of close. So we'll have a pre-made middle bridge. And we'll find a way to update the sand in the middle so that way it'll fall. Actually, we can put the sand over here, so let's mark that with sandstone. Yay! Okay. So we'll come over here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? So that's the total distance that's going to be between the uh, two en enemy islands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, good. I thought I put an extra block down somewhere. So that's a good enough distance away that people aren't going to be, like, too close to each other for, like, the bridge. Because, you know, you kind of want a bit of distance. So, let's see. From all the way over here to all the way over there, it's hard to see. So that's pretty good. And if people aren't playing on far render distance, actually, let's go check that out. Uh, let's come over here, change it to normal. Okay, uh, can still see the edge, but I think that might be the limit. Yeah. Okay, so you can't even see it on short. Not that people should be playing on short. I mean, like most of this is just air, and there's not going to be that much redstone running at all times. So I'm gonna hop back over into MC Edit, and I'm gonna make the base for this thing. Back again. Here we go. And MC it. Alright. So, first step would be to let's select this block. We go over one. And down all the way. Yay! Okay. Here. Anytime now. Huh. Okay. So now we'll go down. Hold shift. Do, do, do. Alright, let's get that 64 blocks high. Oh, there you go. And all this is going to be stone. So, this is going to be quite the laggy uh, thing going on right here. Oh man, that is really far down in comparison to that. Hmm. Pew, pew. Yay, okay. So now that that's closer and it looks a little bit better. Oh man, okay. Uh, let's go back a bunch of blocks. Whee! Okay, not that many. I think 45. Uh, 111 high. Ah, poop. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, so that's in size. If I do that, does that make it any higher? No. Okay, good. Uh, what the heck was that then? All right. So up a little bit more, and let's move that down a little bit. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we'll make this island 45 by 45. So, now a sec. Actually, what is 45 going to be? Is that still even with the thing? I guess it really doesn't matter, but what's 45? Okay, 44 divided by 2. Alright, so this should go out to 23. Like that, perfect. 
and over here to 20 or this will just bring it out to 45 right eh, like that okay there we go okay so hit fill in the place stone hit okay fill man this is gonna lag out oh wow that was actually surprisingly easy and let's save that let's save as much as possible in between uh things and uh yeah so let's apply a filter that comes built in with this not add item we want topsoil okay so filter that there we go now we got some topsoil on there and save that so now we got a nice place to build this and uh, yeah all right so let's hop down a chunk and go out like this over like that out like this over like that fill in a place with stone so that way we're gonna have like the this cool little uh effect that comes out of here and yellow goes down another one it'll have this cool little effect like the oh that's not kind of, that's kind of not what we wanted well yeah i could always fix it later but we're gonna have this cool effect that's gonna be like um it's getting smaller at the top and i think one more down over this way that way that way fill in place okay fill there we go actually can we go down any lower all right here we go last layer will be fill in place with bedrock so that way people don't fall out of the bottom if they start digging all the way down for some reason. I don't see why you should. And this is going to be the biggest island of all of them. This one's going to have... Everything else is just going to be kind of like... Well, maybe the uh, mining island, but... Nah. Eh. Nah. Yeah, I'm eventually going to put in some, like, coal and some smaller stuff. Like, entrances, uh, things, and stuff on the side here. Uh, let's flip back over to Minecraft. What did I just do? What does Control Z do? Uh, is there a redo? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, sorry, my mic's not plugged in. Sorry if this is kind of low quality sound. I didn't actually realize that my mic wasn't plugged in. But uh, I just finish off this episode. Uh, I'm just gonna say that uh, I altered this so that way um, it's more steep yeah more steep come down the edge here and yeah that's gonna do it for this episode next episode I'm planning to start working on the islands and then the episode after that maybe get the all the stuff that we need on the islands on the islands and then I think that's gonna be it so I'm gonna thank you guys for watching uh, remember to like comment favorite subscribe do whatever you gotta do and peace out. Well, look how big this is. this is. I think this is a good size for a castle and some other fun stuff. Uh, okay. Sorry, got a little bit, um, I couldn't see. Or disoriented, that's the word. Okay. So, uh, oh, probably should have found, ooh, cats. Free XP. That's a tip for you guys. So. We could put some stairs over here that come down. Oh god, almost fell out. Oh, but yeah, we could put some stairs coming down and make it kind of look like a ruins and stuff. A ruins and stuff like that. So, um, ooh. Uh, let me go find the center of this. I'll cut back again. <laughs> okay, so I I found the middle. Look at all these cats. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get rid of them. I'm probably gonna have to change this out of jungle grass, but uh. What happens is the players are going to spawn on this pressure plate. This is the center of the island. And under here, this is going to be the protected area where the bridge is going to be spawning out of. So, that's cool and stuff. And stuff. So, what I got here is when they land on the thing. When they land on the thing. This will go down. Ooh, okay. Um. Oh, okay. Hang on a sec. I'm trying to create a uh, one time use clock like it gets used and then it 
breaks itself, so it can't be used again. And I'm coating it in bedrock so that people can't break into here and snag some resources or something. Go a little cheaty. Oh, I thought I even plugged in. <laughs> I said plugged in. Uh, let's. Like I said, I said plugged in like it was a TV remote. <laughs> Alright, here we go. And fill that up. Bedrock there. No, that shouldn't be on full. That should be on full. Okay. So. There. Now, even if you hit it again, nothing could happen. But the pulse went through, if you saw that. Let me show you that again. There you go. Pulse went through. That's good. Alright. So this will come down here, and now I have to hook up the cobblestone generator, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back again, and this time uh, I set up the clock. I didn't set up the cobblestone generator like I said, but... So, this thing turns off. It sends the pulse over here, which... Which, uh... Okay, there's a redstone torch right there that's on the off position. Which powers this. This has 12 redstone in it. It could be 12 of any item, but that doesn't matter. It falls through five cobwebs. Go one, one, two, three, four. Wait, no, how's it? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Oh. And it, it takes an item approximately 30 seconds to go. Oh. Approximately 30 seconds to go through a uh, bunch of to go through a cobweb so um that's about every two and a half minutes it'll pass through here and that's a fence post on or a pressure plate on a fence post which will power this unpowers that sends a pulse up uh, the uh, item falls right there that's what the fence post is there for pulses up and then it drops another item down and each time it drops an item down it pushes the block one more piece out so you have half an hour to get ready and that that is all uh, that's subject to change, so that's not guaranteed for right now. So let's pop back up here, and I th think that's all I have. I I think I have it working. So oh, just have to close everything off over here. Uh, I'm checking to see if there's any spawning places. So let's get some glowstone just in case. Let's. Pop one in the wall over here. Do, do do do. Let's put bedrock back there. Trying to make this like TNT proof, cause of course no one's gonna, no one's gonna be stupid enough to plant a bomb under the ground. But in case they do, you never know. People are people. They'll find ways to break your stuff. There we go. Just uh, sealing everything all up. Wait. Close in there. Don't want anything bad happening. And okay, just have to. What's down here? Nothing. Okay, sealing this up. Don't want anyone to touch my stuff. Okay, and that's good. So now on to making the uh, rock pusher. What's it called? The uh, cobblestone generator. Okie dokie. I got that finish. Nope, wrong spot. Uh, yes, right spot. Alright. Oh, so if we come down here. Where's the thing? Okay. So this pulses into here when it's done. Torches up, comes over to here, where there's these repeaters. And you know, that's the that's the clock for if you weren't paying attention. And we'll stick three lava in right there. And you can hear it solidifying. So this is all made out of bedrock, and then after the thing ticks, it it'll push the stone out, one block and 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 one block, one 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 until bam, we're at the end, just like that. Whoa, hey, that's not cool. I spilled some lava, and I guess I spilled water on top of it. I wasn't paying attention. My hair's all wet. So, hello there, kitty cats. I'm gonna get rid of you. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna be going on. Oh, wait. You gotta stick one of those there. 
And just like that, we have a cobblestone, no, not cobblestone, we have a stone generator. I would have liked to have, like, rails on the side, but sadly, we cannot do that. So, let's grab some grass and just cover that up. And hop down into here. And let's cover this up. Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Just like this. I don't care that I'm using grass. I have to cover it up somehow. Uh. Okay. There you go. Er. Let's go like this first. Grass like that. Back some more. Eh, there we go. Got some more. Back two. Over two. One of these. One of those. One of those. Bam! Perfect. Hidden. Gone. Oh yeah. And I have this here because cats kept walking on the uh, auto, you know, system thing. I did the stuff. That turned this entire thing on. Oops. Alright, now that we have that done, I uh, actually, I think that might wrap it up for this episode. Oh, no, maybe not. Never mind. Getting. So, this is the edge of the island. Perfect! Yay! <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll cut back when I know what I'm doing now. Okay, just as a little reference thing, this is how far the bridge will extend that this piece of stone here is where the sand wall is going to be on this side. There's also going to be a sand wall on the other Oh, thought I jumped off. There's also going to be a sand wall on the other side. And when the bridges extend, it's going to be a floating sand wall. I'm just edited it in. And when the bridges extend, once it touches, once it gets to the sand walls right here. Oops. Right there. When this, this touches the sand wall, just even taps it. It'll, whoosh, it'll all fall down. It'll cause a ton of lag, but it'll all go into the void, so it's good. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. And uh I'll be back again. Uh, oh, sorry, my mic's not plugged in. Sorry if this is kind of low quality sound. I didn't actually realize that my mic wasn't plugged in. But uh I just finish off this episode. Uh, I'm just gonna say that uh I altered this so that way um it's more steep. S yeah, more steep. Come down the edge here. And yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, I'm planning to start working on the islands. And then, the episode after that, maybe get the all the stuff that we need on the islands on the islands. And then, I think that's going to be it. So, I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, favorite, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. And, peace out.